Hello guys, welcome to Code with PK. So in this video, I'm going to solve question one of this ISC specimen paper 2020 that will help you in a way to prepare for a practical exams, computer science practical exams, class, class 12th ISC. So the question says an even number is a positive whole number which has even number of ones in its binary equivalent, okay? So example, binary equivalent of nine is one double one, <coughs> excuse me, which contains even number of ones. So it is, a, it is an even number. Similarly, you have examples. Now, uh, design a program to accept a positive whole number n, where n is greater than 2 and is less, n is less than 100, okay? Find the binary equivalent of the number and count the number of 1s in it and display whether there is a yield or not. Or there. Okay, so, okay, now, the first thing that you, that comes into your mind is how do you find the number of 1s in the binary equivalent? If you are good with uh, bit comparisons in uh, Java, uh, for the integers then it will be easier for you if not then to we have a simpler way so I'm going to write the code about code for this so I have class evil number okay public static void main so just for clarity I'm not going to add a lot of comments okay the first thing I need is a scanner to read from the user scanner scanner was new scanner system dot in okay now I close the scanner as I always do scanner dot close okay the first thing we need to do is the do is the read the value of n so int n is equals to or maybe we, I'll ask for the prompt because I always tell you to keep your uh, exam uh, input and output in the program as close as possible to the question so I'm going to prompt something like this and I'm going to print binary equivalent something like this okay so also you have to show binary equivalent also okay cool so we have n is equals to um, okay we have to ask for the value first right so I'm going to try system dot out dot print n is equals to okay and then read the value scanner dot next int okay now the, scan, the purpose of the scanner is done so I'm going to closing the scanner validate the value of n so if n is greater than 2 and n is less than 100 okay this is the valid condition so if not oh, if not n is greater than 2 and n is greater than 100 we show message which is System dot out dot print ln messages uh, number out of range. Okay, so number out of range, and I terminate the program. Okay, so if the number is valid, the control control will reach to line twenty seven. It will skip this if and then. Now we need to convert it into binary equivalent. Check for the number ones and output if it is an evil number or not so evil number it will be when the number of ones in the binary equivalent will be even so converting into uh, this uh, binary equivalent can i can do it in two, two ways one is binary comparison and other ways the way we we find the sum of the digits or that we extract digits okay so i'm going to use the simpler method convert this and into binary okay i have string binary is equals to okay and extract okay convert to store n into binary convert okay so while n is not equal to 0 okay I have is that the remainder when divided by 2 if n percent 2 is equals to 0 I add 0 to the binary y is equals to 0 0 plus binary else binary is equals to 1 plus binary ok that is that is the standard way of finding out the binary equivalent and I divide it by y it by 2 so binary okay so my binary will be an okay I need to count the number of ones so num 
to store the number of ones okay now ones is equal to zero so in this part where it is not equal to zero I'll count now ones plus plus okay and then finally I'm going to print the output which is binary equivalent so stum dot out dot print ln binary equivalent binary equivalent plus binary okay then I have to print the number of ones the number of ones oh, once it is once and number of one side and I play plus num once okay and then the last thing I need to show it is evil number or not one equal not an evil number evil number okay so I'm going to write system dot out dot print ln Okay, I'm going to use the ternary operator. So if a num ones percent two is equal to zero, that means the number of ones are even, so it is evil number. Else, not an evil number. Okay, then I close. So this is my code, and I think that's it. Cool. So let us just check out now. The number of ones has to be O in capital because everything everything in the output. Okay, so just just checkers now. So Java C oh specimen. Yeah. A binary oh n by is equals to two. Sorry, that was a typo. Mistake. Oh, 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 oh. okay clear and java evil number okay so n is equals to the first case is 15 so i enter 15 binary equivalent is one number equals one it is an evil number which is very cool okay then i have 26 i run again i have 26 11010 i guess yeah 11010 okay and then i have another case which is 145 i guess one four five I'll run it for a couple of more cases so two number out of range because it has to be greater than two not greater than equal to two okay so it's a border case and similarly number will be out of range for 100 as well okay you can try some other number some negative value and maybe some other number say seven or oh, seven have you tried oh seven has three one so it is not an evil number then you can try maybe three which is uh, zero one one so okay so this is the uh, solution to this question and you should you, you must be aware about how to convert a decimal value into integer decimal value into its corresponding binary to solve this question okay so i hope this video was helpful so please do like this video and subscribe to my channel for more such videos okay okay so one last thing is there is another way we can count the number of ones and convert it into binary so what i'll do is just comment this out okay so for int so this is using bit, bit comparisons okay because you know that whatever decimal value we see on the output or whatever decimal value an integer stores is stored as a binary equivalent into the background okay behind the scenes actually in the computer so i is less than 32 because there are 32 bits used for storing this integer and i i plus plus so if this ith bit is one i will increase the number of ones so if okay i need a one as well so i'll just take a value into 1 is equals to 1 because this value will be equal to 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1 okay only the last bit only the right only the right mode bit only the the right most bit of this integer will be 1 rest all will be 0 okay so what I am going to do now is so if n i okay I'm going to use right shift ampersand one okay 
if n percent i n percent 1 is equals to 1 ok i increment the number once ok or I'll directly copy here and I will add binary part as well else ok else I just simply add the 0 part ok so what this is doing is ok just write I tells tells oh shifts the ith bit of the value n i places oh shifts all the bits sorry all the bits sorry the bits of value n i places to write okay so when and with one okay so when and with one so if the ith bit of this value n is one and it is and with one it will remain one if the ith bit was zero it will and with one and become zero okay it becomes zero if ith bit was zero else stays one so you will see we will get the same output there should not be any mistake so let us just clear compile no issues ok the first case was I guess 15 oh so it is checking for all so I do not need to do this so this will check for all ok so which is exactly the same as so it is an evil number does not matter you have just extra zeros and uh, then we have another case where we can take uh, mm, 26 so you can see it is the answer is the same again it's just that you do not have exactly the same as one but you are getting the same output not an evil number again and for 145 number out of range okay so you can use the this this initial while part to check okay so i hope this video was helpful this was just to be a little more informative this shifting part was a little bit to be a more informative so thank you for watching and do subscribe to my channel like this video and thank you